Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today it is Friday. It's Black Friday actually. And we are going to do an episode of Face Off Friday where we're going to take this box of the brand new 2023 Museum Collection and we're going to face that off against a Breakers HTA, Breakers Delight box of Topps Chrome Update and team that up with a Hobby box of Topps Chrome Update as well. What we'll do is we'll take the top five cards from each box and see which one ended up being better. So the Museum Collection box, these are about $400 a piece. These Breaker Delight boxes are about $300 and the Hobby boxes are about $135. So Chrome Update has the edge in terms of it costs more for these two, so you would think this might be the favorite. But I'm actually going to go ahead and guess that this box ends up winning this one museum collection. There's going to be four guaranteed hits in this. Two autos, two relics, and the chrome is going to have three autos coming out of these two combined. So I don't know. I'm, I have a feeling museum collection is going to pull this one out. Let's go ahead and get things started. We'll bring in our sponsor for this video. It is going to be Richard Sasko, and Richard has all of the cards from all three of these boxes. Richards, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one, you can check us out. We sell all of our video sponsorship spots on our Patreon page. We also sell all of our break spots on Patreon. We're currently filling a Saturday showdown um, for tomorrow night. It's a Patreon-only live stream. And then we'll have, I think we have an auction tonight. Yeah, we'll have do an auction tonight, a consignment auction tonight, this Friday night. Mm, probably, I don't know, around like 9, 9.30 or so, once all the kiddos are in bed. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start things off. Let's just go ahead and start things off with a Breaker's Delight box. There is one pack inside of here, and all the good stuff is in one little pack. There's no base cards. It's all the hits. Usually it's six refractors, some numbered cards, and two autographs. So good luck, Richard. Again, I'm taking Museum Collection to win this one. But uh, sometimes I'm wrong. Here we go with Richard's first box. There's one card at the bottom that just does not want to come out. It's Kevin Kelly right there. You can see Kevin Kelly. There's the back of it. Just so you know, that's the only card in there. And he's finally out. All right, here we go. Miguel Amaya starts things off with Pablo Lopez. And we have a gold Youthquake Miguel Vargas, numbered to 50. Not too bad. Andrew Nardi is going to be a negative card. There's an Andrew Benintendi yellow mini diamond numbered to 75. Mitch Garver purple. That one will be numbered to 250. A Corey Jolks youth quake card. And we get into our autographs. All right, so Dominic Fletcher autograph. That's okay, I guess. But we really like the numbered autos. And we've got Luis Medina. That's going to be a gold wave auto numbered to 50. And that's probably going to be the best hit in there. So unfortunately, no crazy autograph. From the Breakers Delight HJ box for Richard, but you still have that Chrome Update Hobby Box coming up. I think right now I would say Museum Collection after that box is the favorite. Let's go ahead and rip it open and see what we can find in this one. And then we'll take the top five cards out and line them up. All right, so you have four mini boxes inside each Museum Collection box. These Boxes are about $400 a piece. They're a fun one to rip. I enjoy doing museum collection a lot. And let's see what we can find for Richard Sasko in number one. Mini box number one, Kyle Schrubber, Justin Verlander is in there. Zach Neto, rookie card. And we start things off with Matt Olson, the MLB home run king this past year. It is going to be the quad relic. It is numbered to 20 primary pieces and Salvador Perez is in there as well. So there's the quad relic out of the way. You get one quad relic per master box. There's also a regular relic and then there's two autographs left to be found for Richard. So if we can find you a good one in this next one. Pack number two. We got Miguel Cabrera on the back. Matt McLean rookie card on the front with Tim Anderson, Mike Trout and the next hit it is going to be Nico Horner. So Nico Horner is going to be our Relic Autograph, and it is going to be numbered out of 199 right there in the corner. So Nico Horner's next one had a pretty decent season last year. Miguel Cabrera out of 299. All right, we need to pick up the pace a little bit here and get some big hits. We have one Relic and one Autograph left in this museum collection box. Let's see what we've got going on in this next one here. Jose Altuve is on the back. Raphael Devers. We get a sketch card in each box, one per box. 
And there we go, Ronald Acuna Jr., the MVP, comes on out. Richard Sasko, congratulations. There's the big hit. I was worried we weren't going to get any big hits in there. Ronald Acuna Jr., it is the Christmas card, numbered 12 out of 25 on Card Auto. That is exactly what we were after when we opened this box. So congratulations, Richard, on that one. I can tell you right now, that's the number one card of this video. There's going to be a relic left in here. Let's see who that's going to be. It doesn't really even matter at this point. I think Museum Collection is winning this one. But you never know. We have that hobby box over there. There could be a one-of-one -one patch in there. And let's see what else we have in this second box. Here comes the relic. It is Christian Javier. Numbered to 50, along with a Von Grissom out of 99. So that Von Grissom is going to likely make the top five. I think that's going to bump out Miggy right there. I'll go with Nico Horner as the number two card of the box. I'll go with Matt Olson is the number three card of the box. Christian Javier at number four. And the numbered Von Grissom rookie card, number five. So that's the lineup for the top five from Museum Collection. I guess we'll kind of maybe reorient the camera a little bit. Get that logo a little more centered up. And uh, all right, Richard. You got one box left. It's up to this box, the hobby box of Chrome Update. Will it come through? I would say Chrome Update's got a lot of ground to make up now, thanks to that Ronald Acuna Jr. I'm glad we had a big hit in there. Let's go ahead and take all the packs out. One autograph will be coming out of here. We know that much. And maybe a couple numbered cards. We're going to need one of those numbered cards to be a big rookie. All right, we'll slide these off to the side, and we'll start with this stack right here on this episode of Face Off Friday. I always like doing these with... Uh, when I first started doing the Face Off Friday series, we always just used to do blaster boxes. It would be like a $20 blaster box against a $20 blaster box, and it has since grown and evolved into like the newest releases against each other. It's a, it's a fun series to do. I hope you guys are enjoying this video and enjoy this series. Maybe tomorrow I'll bring you a Walmart video. I found Top Chrome Update retail out on the shelves today at Walmart. Stopped by, I don't know, like two or three in the afternoon today just to get some food. Didn't really do any Black Friday shopping. There's still some stuff left over in terms of Black Friday deals. Picked up a couple things for the kiddos. They saw some clothes they wanted, so picked up some cards, picked up some clothes, and now let's see what we can pick up the rest of the way in this Topps Chrome Update Hobby Box. Again, one more hit is due to us. And I think it might be coming right after this Michael Harris rookie card. Brandon Drury is right there. It is going to be a hit. It's going to be one of those blue greens out of 175. Kodai Senga rookie card is in there as well. There's Francisco Alvarez. Luis Guillorme is there. Bobby Miller. Let's see what else we can find. Here's our a Tanner Bybee, numbered out of 250. Not too shabby right there whatsoever. We'll take that one. And nothing else going on there. So a couple numbered cards so far. We like it. Let's try the other side of the stack here and see what we can find in side two. We know there's going to be the autograph coming up. Let's hope it's a big one. It'd be nice to... I would love to have a tough decision here, like have to go back and forth, like is it Museum Collection or is it Topps Chrome Update? That would mean that this uh, this box made things difficult. Right now with that Acuna out of 25 autograph, that's worth hundreds of dollars. That's definitely going to be tough to beat. All right, here we go with the rest of this one. The big disappointment in this video, the Breakers Delight box did not really give us much to work with. All right, Richard, let's see what we can find. There's another numbered card, your third numbered card. It's Kenley Jansen, numbered out of 199. Corbin Carroll's a nice one as well. Probably not going to make the top five, though. 1988-style card. We'd love to find a Corbin Carroll auto. There's Gunnar Henderson, Natalie Rushman. Here comes an X-Fractor. This is going to be the autograph. Garrett Cole, not too shabby. Very nice, an X-Fractor of a big name, a big star, Garrett Cole, the Cy Young Award winner this year. It's numbered out of 125. That's going to be the number one card for Chrome. So Chrome Update delivers. The Hobby Box comes through. It's given us three numbered cards and a nice Garrett Cole numbered to 125 all-star autograph. We'll see if there's anything else left in here. 
And the Michael Harris Refractor rookie card. Who knows? Maybe that'll end up making it. So here's what I've got for the top five. I've got Garrett Cole, number one. Number two, I've got to go with the Luis Medina. After that, man, well, let's see. The Vargas, Dominic Fletcher, maybe goes here. The, the autographs, one, two, and three. And then beyond that, here's what I've got left. Tanner Bybee's going to make it as he was the a runner up, the runner up for the Rookie of the Year award. And then after that, I think I'm going to go do I go with the Refractor of Michael Harris? Or do I go with, I'm going to go with the Youth Quake out of 50, Miguel Vargas. So there's your top five for Chrome Update. I'm against the top five for Museum Collection, which ended up being better that's the big question i think i think i gotta go museum collection if i just kind of line these up that ronald acuna jr is just so much better than everything else i mean the garrett cole's a great card very nice card but if that i mean if that breakers of light box could have given us just one better hit it would have been made things tough but i think museum collection takes this one let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you check us out in our live stream auction tonight. And again, if you're a Patreon member, we're selling Saturday Showdown Box War spots for tomorrow night if you'd like to grab some spots in that. Have a fantastic rest of your Friday evening, and I will see you in the live stream tonight. Good night, everybody.